Good morning and welcome to the Samuel Wood Proctor Conference service of daily prayer and song, the Proctor Prayer Demic. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. And all month long, as you know, we've been honoring women during this Women's History Month. We have had and will continue to have women prayer warriors from around the globe. And whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, or any other social medium, we're glad you've joined us this morning. We invite you to visit our website, SDP Conference, sdpconference.info. And also we'd like you to receive text message updates from us. All you have to do is text the letters SDPC, that's SDPC to this number, 84576. Again, 84576 to automatically sign up for text message updates from the Sammy DeWitt Proctor Conference. We promise to only use your number for sharing information. We will never sell or give your information away. And if you have loved ones without smartphones or without internet access, please let them know. They can also listen to the Proctor Prayer Demic at noon and at 8.30 p.m., both central times, by dialing this number, 909-318-7011. That's 909-318-7011. Thank you so much. And in that it is Women's History Month, here is your host, the Reverend Tiana Webb. Thank you, Reverend Mark. Sao Bonani family. Sao Bonani is a Zulu greeting, meaning I see you, meaning we value all of you. And saying Sao Bonani, we acknowledge your full presence and we acknowledge your full humanity. And we simply want you to know that we are glad that you have joined us this morning. Family, let's center ourselves for prayer and praise this morning. Rejoice always. Pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Lord, we begin today with thanksgiving. Thank you for connectivity and community. Thank you for yet another morning to gather with our brothers and our sister prayer warriors tuning in from around the world. Thank you for an opportunity to come together in this virtual space to look to you, our help, in our guide, our protector and our way maker, our peace in the midst of the pandemics we face. Lord, we begin with thanksgiving. We will be glad in you. We will rejoice in you. Today, we will believe that you are finishing a great work in each of us. Lord, we thank you for bringing us to this place of prayer. And as we begin this service of prayer and song, we come remembering, acknowledging, and honoring women especially during this Women's History Month. If we were to trace our fingers over the historical timeline of your grace in our lives, we would find that the prayers that kept so many of us were not just ours alone. We thank you for the praying women who whispered prayers, fervent prayers, righteous prayers, intercessory prayers. We thank you for those praying women whose heartfelt prayers became lifelines for us. We thank you for the praying mothers and the praying church mothers, for the praying grandmothers and the great grandmothers, for the praying sisters and the praying aunties. Lord, if it wasn't for the women, the praying women, where would we be? So Lord, we begin this service with thanksgiving. Today, we will rejoice in you. We will be glad in you. And today we will remember and honor all the praying women who indirectly and directly shifted the trajectory of our lives towards mercy. If it wasn't for the praying women, where would we be? We give thanks for the praying women who kept us, who encouraged us, who loved us and challenged us. We give thanks for the praying women who sustained our churches. We give thanks for the praying foremothers who thought of us and desired a better world for us than the one they inherited, who prayed with humility and acted courageously on the side of justice. God, we are thankful. We thank you for entrusting the vision of this ministry to Reverend Dr. Ivan Carruthers, Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright Jr., and Reverend Dr. Frederick Kings III. We thank you for their faithfulness, 
And we thank you for every praying woman, woman who has been connected to the Proctor Conference throughout the years. Where would we be without their prayers? We thank you for the prayer warrior as she comes and leads us this morning into a deeper place of petition with you. And we pray, pray blessings over the minister of music. And we ask that her gifts might continue to bring you glory for all of these things. We give thanks. Amen and Ashe. Family, our prayer warrior this morning is Reverend Dr. Danielle L. Brown. Reverend Dr. Brown find, finds great joy and satisfaction in learning, living, and preaching the gospel. She was licensed to preach in 2003 by Cathedral International, the historic Second Baptist Church in Perth Amboy, New Jersey, and ordained by the American Baptist Church in the Covenant Ecumenical Fellowship and Cathedral Assemblies in 2012 an increasingly sought after preacher, workshop leader with the ability to communicate across multiple generations, Dr. Brown has had the opportunity to share the gospel in various states and in South Africa. Both a servant leader and a scholar, Reverend Dr. Brown holds degrees from Virginia State University, New Brunswick Theological Seminary and Palmer Theological Seminary. Currently, she serves as the pastor of church life at Cathedral International, where Bishop Donald Hiller Jr. is the senior pastor. Reverend Dr. Brown loves God, God's church, and God's people. She counted in honor and a privilege to serve. And of course, it is Wednesday family, so we are grateful to have with us Minister Wasaba Sidibe as our Minister of Music. She always blesses us with her gifts. We thank God for both of them. Amen. Somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind. They took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad they prayed. Yes, I'm glad they prayed. Took the time to pray for me. My mother prayed for me. She had me on her mind. She took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad she prayed. Yes, I'm glad she prayed. Took the time to pray for me. For mothers prayed for me. They had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad they prayed. Yes, I'm glad they prayed. Took the time to pray for me. My grandma prayed for me. She had me on her mind. She took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad she prayed. Yes, I'm glad she prayed. Took 
good time to pray for me. My auntie prayed for me. She had me on her mind. She took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad she prayed. Yes, I'm glad she prayed. Took the time to pray for me. Amen. I'm so glad that somebody, a whole lot of somebodies, took the time to pray for me. Let us go before our God in prayer. Almighty, gracious, and loving God, we are so grateful for the opportunity to come before you in prayer this morning. God, we thank you that you are a God who does not just hear prayer, but you are a God who answers our prayers. We thank you this morning, Lord God, that even though we are distant from one another, that your Holy Spirit uh, brings us together and unites us, that there is no distance where your spirit is. And so for that, we are grateful. Lord, we lift your name up and we just thank you that your name is above every name. We thank you this morning that we have access to your name, that because of your name, uh, we can be saved. And because of your name, Lord God, we have access to life and that more abundant. This morning, God, we come before you lifting up the sick, those who are in need of healing all over this world. And God, we ask that you would release that healing, that you, Lord God, would make your word come alive in the lives of many. The word that says that healing is the children's bread. God, today we pray for those who are experiencing physical sickness, but Lord God, also those who are sick uh, in relationships and uh, also Lord God, uh, in emotionally and spiritually. God, we pray that you would release healing and cause medications to work in those situations, but that God, you would be also a way of escape for those who are stuck in toxic relationships, that God, you would be a source of healing for those who uh, bear within their body the wounds, Lord God, of years of abuse and the, the wounds, Lord God, that, that exist as a result of encounters during their childhood and with parents and, and uh, with other people, Lord God, who were supposed to be sources of refuge and peace and hope and safety and were not. So God, we're asking that you would heal and that you would deliver today. God, we ask that you would be a source of peace for those that are dealing with anxiety particularly in this pandemic, Lord, where those who, we don't know what is going to happen next. And even with all of the guidance and, and the science and with a vaccine, God, there are still so many unknown factors. There are pastors who are not sure what church is going to look like once the world opens up again. Uh, those that are, are having difficulty making uh, decisions about going forward, and it's a source of great anxiety. But God, we're asking that you would uh, be a source of peace, the kind that surpasses all understanding, the kind that only you can give and only uh, you can cause, Lord God, we need peace. God, we lift up women and girls to you, and, and we ask, God, that you would help every woman, every girl to walk in and realize their full potential, to, to really believe that you have created them uh, with greatness in mind. Lord God, that you have uh, created us fearfully and beautifully and with a purpose and a hope and a destiny. And Lord God, and so I pray that you would uh, begin to stir up gifts in all of us, Lord God. Help women and girls to see themselves, God, the way that, that you see them, Lord God, to see through your eyes, not through the eyes of stereotypes, not through the eyes, Lord God, of what society says, but through the eyes of a loving God, a loving God who knows uh, the number of hairs that are on our head.
head, a, a God who knows us uh, even in our, our most our innermost parts, a God who loves us beyond measure and is rooting for us and praying for us daily. God, we pray that women who are uh, suffering, Lord God, that, that you would be a way of escape, that God, women who are caught in trafficking and, and, and Lord God, uh, even human slavery, even in 2021, that God, you would be a way of escape, that you would provide a way of escape, Lord God. God, we lift up just people to you, Lord God, this whole world. We, we know that you care for all people, but God, we live in an hour where there are so many more opinions than there are solutions. And so today, God, we're asking that you would uh, give solutions, that you would guide us and direct us, Lord God, to uh, solutions and two ways of escape, two ways, Lord God, that uh, the what we see now uh, can be changed and adjusted and shifted, Lord God. Lord, where things need to be completely abolished, God, we're asking for you to give us the, 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 the ideas and the strategies and the methods and the, all that we need, Lord God, that we can work the works of the one who sent us in this earth. We lift up the church to you, Lord God, the institution and the people that God, the church, would reflect your character, godly character, character of love and, Lord God, embrace and, and uh, long-suffering and all of the fruit that suggests that your spirit dwells and resides within us. Lord God, help your church not to cry out for justice and then be unjust within our own walls and within the spaces you allow us to occupy in our personal lives. But God, help us to line up and to align with your heart heart. You are a God of justice. You're a God who loves all people. You're a God who desires the best, Lord God, for us. And so God, help us uh, to serve your character, to serve your will in the earth. We lift up the government to you, governments all over the world. And God, we pray that you would help us to realize that one leadership change does not fix all of the problems that exist, Lord God. Help us not to romanticize uh, uh, incremental change, but Lord God, to stay awake and stay aware uh, and, and to stay, keep our fingers on the pulse of the things uh, that are happening in this world and in our government. And God, those that need to be voted out, those that need to be moved, uh, Lord God, because they don't have the best interests of the people in mind, God, we pray that you would uh, show us how to do it that God, you would create the sense of urgency in the earth for change that is ongoing and not just uh, little changes, but help us, Lord God, to have the strength to be in this for the long haul. God, we lift up to you the grieving of uh, those that are, are grieving in Atlanta even today because of that tragedy that occurred uh, on yesterday. We lift up our Asian brothers and sisters to you who are experiencing increased violence and discrimination uh, in this nation, Lord God, even now, God, we pray that you would root out racism and oppression, that God, you would help us to do our part. But Lord, we certainly need your help to help us to do away with this foul demon of white supremacy, Lord God, this foul demon that suggests that some are less than or some deserve violence or some just deserve whatever they get in this world. Lord God, we pray that you would help us to root it out. But God, what we can't do, we're calling on you, Lord God, that you would uh, do what only you can do. We'll do our part, but God, we're calling on you to do uh, what only you can do, Lord God. And for the grieving, we know that your word says that you draw near to the brokenhearted. And so God, will you draw near to the countless families and loved ones and friends, uh, even in this last year, who have experienced grief and loss because of this pandemic, because of this virus. And, and for many any other reasons, God. Uh, we pray that you would draw near, that those that are grieving would know that they are not grieving by themselves, but that you, Lord God, are near. God, give them peace and give them the strength that they need to journey uh, through what life looks like on the other side of loss. And God, we do thank you for generations of women who have 
prayed prayers of faith. We thank you for the prayers of our grandmothers and great grandmothers and our aunties and our sister friends, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for generations of women. And God, we also thank you that you are raising up another generation, that you're raising up new generations of women who will carry and take up the burden of prayer and the burden of the people. We thank you that you're raising up another generation, Lord God, of women who have liberation and growth and faith and strengthening people on their mind. We thank you, Lord God, that you are raising up another generation of people who will get on the wall and watch, who will not cease to cry out to a God knowing that you can and that you will and that you hear us, Lord God. God, we thank you this morning, again, that you're not just a God who hears our prayers, but you're a God who answers. We thank you that you're a God who redirects and to, who, who guides us and, and, and gives us the words to say and the things to do and the places to be. We're asking this morning that you would make us more sensitive to your voice. And when, Lord God, we need to stop talking, give us the wisdom to hush. God, where we need to speak up, give us the courage to cry loud and spare not. Lord God, when we need to move, help us to move the right ways. And when we need to stand still and observe, God, we pray that you would give us what we need in the name of Jesus. God, today we ask that you would grant us wisdom, that you grant us courage for the facing of this hour and the next hour and every hour that shall follow. Use us for your glory. God, every person that is under the sound of my voice this morning and wherever even this recording may land, uh, God, I pray that you you would help whoever listens to this to be encouraged, that they would be edified, that they would be strengthened, that they would know that, that whatever things you have placed on their heart, that they're not crazy and they're not too far off, but God, you have placed them on their heart and they can make a difference. God, begin to show folks where they can cause this world to be turned upside down. Begin to show people, Lord God, that we don't have to just accept what we see, but by power of Almighty God, God, we can make changes in the spaces that we are in. And so God, empower us. Lord God, refresh us, renew us and revive us. Give us strength. Give us all that we need, Lord God. And then God, what you need from us, help us to be willing vessels. We declare that whatever you need from us, Lord God, you gave it to us. And so we give it back to you. Uh, our gifts, our, our, all of the things, Lord God, that, that we are and that we shall be are because of you. And so God, we lay them at your altar. We lay them at your, your bidding, Lord God, and you can call on them, whatever you need in the earth that you have already placed in us. God, we yield it to you. And so God, we thank you again. We honor you this morning. We magnify you this morning. We thank you for loving us. And we thank you, Lord God, for being a consistent and loving God. I pray this prayer in Jesus' holy and matchless name. And let all God's people say, amen, amen, and amen. Amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is hope in the name of Jesus. 
There is hope in the name of Jesus. There is hope in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is revolution in the name of Jesus. There is revolution in the name of Jesus. There is revolution in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain break every chain whatever it is to break every chain break every chain break every chain whoever it is to break every chain Break every chain, break every chain, wherever it is to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, wonder working power in the name of Jesus. There is power, miracle working power in the name of Jesus. There is power, liberating power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reverend Brown, for calling out the demon of white supremacy as so many in our country continue to grieve. And thank you for reminding us to have the courage to cry out where injustice exists. Power healing, hope, revolution, deliverance, liberation in his name. Thank you, Minister Wasaba. You both have blessed us so much this morning. Amen, amen, amen. And now we move from prayer to action. Family, currently there is a humanitarian crisis taking place in Jackson, Mississippi. Our brothers and our sisters in Jackson, our sisters in Jackson need food. Our brothers and our sisters in Jackson need financial assistance. As Reverend Rice has told us, our sisters and our brothers in Jackson need us to treat their needs as holy. You can contribute. There's a few ways that you can give on our website 
sdpconference.info on the Invest Contribute tab, or you can find the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference on Givelify. You can also give through our partners, Lot Carry, and they can also be found on Givelify. Family, we cannot do this alone. We are sending resources and financial assistance to Jackson, Mississippi, and we invite you to join in this work with us. We are so grateful to be in community with you. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Reverend Brown, once again for such a powerful prayer. And thank you, Minister Wasaba, for leading us in worship this morning. Thank you, all the people who are tuning in for sharing your morning with us in prayer and praise. Family, thank you for honoring women with us all month long. And again, the announcements, please note that Proctor's intergenerational third Thursday worship service will be this Thursday, 6 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern. Please plan to join us. Please plan to spread the word. You can contribute once again to the SDC Coalition for the Jackson Fund Relief at any time. Please feel free to head to our website when you can and click on the Invest Contribute tab. So as we depart this space, I leave you with the verses that we began with. As you remember and honor the praying women across generations who had you on their mind. And as you continue to pray for the next generation of women rising up as you go throughout this day, rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We are so glad they prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. We love you, family. By God's grace, we will see you here tomorrow morning at 7, 10 Central Time. Have a beautiful day.